two-time nominee, second, you won two times already, and now you're here for the show that has people losing their damn minds, Kevin. Yellowstone is, I, I've been telling all the other members of your cast, people are fanatical about it. It's not just like fans or casual watchers. Folks are fanatical about this. Yeah, people, um, yeah, I always thought I had a chance to be good. You, you never you never can, can predict something that kind of runs away with, with stuff. You, all you can think to yourself is if you're going to try to be a part of something, does it have a chance to, to measure up? Does it have a chance to entertain? And I thought that Yellowstone did, and uh, so it has. But the idea of you know, where it's gone, you don't predict that kind of thing. Season five, you guys start shooting in May. Mm -hmm. And so what can you tell me about season five? The, uh, oh, I, <laughs> yeah, real, okay, well, just, you know, I, you know, I'm telling you, I, I, I take the fun away. Just the, give me a give me a little something. I did hear that it's going to be in two parts. I got a new horse. How's that? See, does he is he this good at keeping secrets all the time? I love it. I love it so much. So we we know that you've got a lot of celeb fans of this show. Garth and Trisha, big fans. Trisha had on like the baseball cat Judd Apatow. Who else is a fan, a, a celebrity friend of yours that we don't know that's a fan of this show? I don't. I don't. I know people have come up to me, so I don't really have that on the tip of my tongue because I don't kind of deal in the celebrity kind of thing, but I, I probably haven't had a show where I, it feels like if I'm out, it's, it's within an hour, it, it, somebody's going to talk about it. And um, you kind of hope that happens yeah. a little bit, and, and it has. So it's been, I think it's what happens when you have great dialogue and you put it against mountains and rivers and running horses. I think there's, you know, little gold dust on it. Taylor said he already knows how he wants to end the series. Yeah. Do you know how you would like to see it end? No, I haven't thought about that. Um, I just hope it's, it, it just runs its course in a really, you know, fun way. We're a highly dysfunctional family. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe the highlight is we get our yeah. together. I don't yeah. know. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> you could, but do you have a few more seasons in you? I don't know. I mean, you just you just keep you you know how to answer these questions. Listen. You know? I don't know. What, I don't know what the uh, future brings. I really don't. And kind of one of the funner things in life to to know that it's a journey and don't always know everything that's going with it. Here's the thing we do know though. You Kevin Costner does what he wants to do. So as long as you're having fun, you're still going to do this. Yeah, I have I have other things I'm gonna gonna be doing. I'm kind of. They always kind of feel like secrets to me, and, and um, just like this one felt like a secret four years ago, I thought it had a chance to be good. Um, I just didn't know it would be received the way it has. Can I take you back real quick? 2022, 30th anniversary of The Bodyguard this year. You think about that ever? I mean, it was such an iconic movie, one of the best soundtracks ever for a movie. Well, you know, that, that song will come on, and it probably is one of those songs that people remember where they were at because it was so unusual the way it started with uh, you know just a cappella and uh, the fact that it was a country song it was Dolly's song and the next thing you know here's Whitney Houston and starts singing it just without music and the next thing you know the music starts and I think we all remember where that little voice took us. Yeah.